We have fully aligned and focused the telescope on a star, and the performance is beating specifications. We're excited about what this means for science. We now know we have built the right telescope. The Deputy Optical Telescope Element Manager for Webb at NASA Goddard, Ritva Keski Kuha, said, when the JWST took off from Earth a couple months back, it carried with it a band of hopes and dreams from the scientific community. Even people who do nothing else than watch space shuttles lift off on TV felt the ripple of this hope. But in reality, nothing less could be expected of the JWST, not after the huge amounts of teamwork, skill, and finance that went into its creation. Finally, mankind could get to see further into space than he'd ever done. However, there was one small caveat. Space discoveries with the JWST would have to wait until its six-month commissioning process, where a team of experts would calibrate the JWST until it was ready for its interdimensional search mission. From the start, the JWST was always expected to be a super-powered project. Everything that went into its construction toted it automatically as the most powerful telescope in space history, more powerful than even the Hubble. But the trial picture wowed even the scientists on the project. They expected powerful, but not that kind of powerful. Curious to know what this image was and why it left the scientists in shock? Well, here it is. At first sight, what the JWST captured is a large star with a splattering of far smaller stars behind it. What's special about that, you might ask? After all, you see too many stars on your own. Well, for one, that star is further than the stars you can pick out from the night sky. In fact, it's so far away that it's 100 times fainter than what the normal eye can see. And this image is so crisp and clear, it's like the JWST took the photo right from in front of the star. Wondering what the name of the star is? Well, it's called the 2 mass J17554042 plus 6551277. But why is this image so surprising to scientists? Well, you see, while other people might be shocked from the clarity of the image of the J mass, the star is of less importance to the space team on the JWST. There's no doubt that the image is clear, but the clarity is judged by the smaller stars behind the 2 mass star. And that's where the shock for these space scientists come. What most people think are other stars in the background of the two mass are actually galaxies. Every single one of them. And this is the first time mankind has been able to capture them. We've all heard space scientists say that there are other galaxies other than the Milky Way, which is our own galaxy in the universe and that the existence of these galaxies forecasts the possibility of extraterrestrial life. The trial images from the JWST just provided solid proof of the existence of these galaxies. And that was just one spot in all of space. Imagine what else can be found when the JWST starts to look everywhere. The implications of that are just flabbergasting. You want to even know what these scientists found even more shocking? That this image, as clear and revealing as it was, was only captured by one of the four instruments that the JWST carries. Pretty amazing, right? Can you think of what happens now when all four instruments are pointed into the far reaches of space? It dazzles my mind to even think of it. The JWST will soon be fully operational. If these scientists were shocked by the trial image, it remains to see how they'd react when the real images start dropping in.